This video is going to look at the Notes app that comes pre-installed on the iPad, the iPhone, how to configure it and synchronize it across all of your Apple devices. Uh, there are a couple of settings to consider before you start using your notes, particularly if you want to have, have them synchronized uh, across your iPad, perhaps your iPhone um, computers, and want to be able to access them everywhere. So to start with, on the iPad, you need to go to your mail contacts calendars and look at which accounts, which mail accounts, uh, do you want to have notes enabled for? Now, I have an iCloud account, so you know, everybody does. You've got an iPad. So in my, let's just step back a bit, actually go to the iCloud settings and turn notes on. So what I would like to have any notes that I create on my iPad or my iPhone or my, my iMac computer to be synchronized with my iCloud account so that uh, I can go into the iCloud on the web and see all those notes and, and uh, they're going to be pushed out wirelessly to all my devices. So I turn that on first and then into the mail contacts calendars. There is an iCloud mail account so I have notes turned on in that because so I'd like those to be synchronized in the iCloud account, that mail account for iCloud. Uh, I have a Gmail account so I'd also like some of my notes to be synchronized into Gmail. Perhaps not all of them, but maybe there's a, there's a couple of them that I specifically want to be uh, available through my Gmail account. So I turned on notes in Gmail, and then I've got some other um, email accounts there, and some of them, like the Big Pond, I, I, I haven't got notes turned on. And So you've just got to decide which ones of your mail accounts do you want to have notes turned on in. I really don't need them turned on in this mail account, so I will turn them off in that one. And done. Uh, so I have three accounts where I can synchronize notes to. Uh, then into the Notes app, and there's some settings there. You've got three fonts to decide which is the default fonts. So I'll just leave it at Noteworthy. And then which will be your default account for notes. So if you don't specifically say when you create a note that I'd like this note to go to my Gmail account so I can access it from Gmail anywhere, uh, it will it will go to whatever default account you specify. So I've left mine at iCloud, and that's the default note. So they're the settings for notes. All right, so let's create a note. So open the Notes app, and remember that the default notes account is iCloud. Now, if I was to do a new note, um, the plus will create a new note for you, but there's uh, already a new one there waiting for me. So let's just do a test note, and this should be in iCloud. Now, how do I know if it's gone into iCloud? I can go into the Accounts button. If I've got more than one account, you might only have one account that all notes go to, but I've got a couple. So if I select the iCloud account, that note's gone into the iCloud account. It hasn't gone into Gmail. It will allow me to create a new one for, G for Gmail. New note for Gmail. And that's in the Gmail account. That's in the iCloud account. Or if I just want to see them all, all notes is generally the default. And every time I do a new note, it's just going into the default account unless I specifically put it into another account. So another new one, test note two, and that one's for iCloud. And it still appears in, in all the accounts, but if I go specifically into iCloud, there's now two of them in there. Uh, what I can do with the note once I've, I've um, typed it up, and it's going to synchronize to all devices running uh, iCloud, if I've, if I've used iCloud as my default, or it's going to go up to my Gmail account, and we'll look at that in a minute. So anywhere I can access my Gmail, I can see those notes, but I can also share it. So there's, uh, I could print the note, or send it in an iMessage, or email it, 
or copy it and then paste it somewhere else. So there's those sharing options. You can trash it, and there's the trash can, you can delete it. But let's have a look at how it synchronizes. If we go into the, the um, web and log in to iCloud.com, so let's just pause while I do that. All right, so I've logged into my iCloud account, and in iCloud.com, you can edit and create and modify and delete any of your notes or your calendar or your contacts or your iCloud mail reminders etc so if you're stuck somewhere and you haven't got your iPad or your iPhone not near your own computer as long as you can get onto a, a computer somewhere that has internet and a web browser you can log into iCloud.com and you've got access to these areas now if I open up notes and I should have two notes in there already from the iCloud account and there are so let's just make both of these appear on the screen. This one on the left is the iPad. And the one on the right is the iCloud.com. So if I wanted to update a note, so on the iPad, in the iCloud account, the test note two, I'm just gonna add more stuff to this note and immediately, on the uh, iCloud.com, that new bit of information appears in the note on uh, iCloud.com. Now that note, because I'm syn synchronizing notes with the phone and the iPad and all the computers, the phone, for example, will also have that note. So I can go into the to the Notes app on the phone and I'd see that uh, app. Let's just shut this. Uh, from the actual computer itself. So I'm still in this same note. So I'm on the computer now and I want to add more stuff to this note. So there's another modification. This time I've done it on the actual um, computer, not on the iPad. And just see how long it takes for it to be synchronized. It's already synchronized there. You can just see, see that it's changed tap it again and that's been synchronized and updated so it's come from the computer down to the ipad and any other device that has notes turned on to be synchronized if i wanted to delete this note from the computer i can delete it from here with the trash can yes i do want to delete the note and now i've i've only got one note on icloud.com and now it's gone off the ipad so the synchronization is is instant uh, what does it look like on Gmail? Now, I've, I've got a, a note for Gmail. How do I see my notes in Gmail? Now, I can be online in my Gmail account. So here's the, the Gmail account. And one of the labels that provides you, and these are all the labels I use to, to sort my, my mail. But there is a, a, um, a label for notes. And that's where I can see all of the notes that I do on my iPad or my iPhone. If they're, if they're being synchronized to, to Gmail, then I'll find them in that notes um, label. So I could open it from there and there's sort of nothing in there, new note for Gmail. So if I reply to that note and add more stuff to that note, it just adds a new note in the Gmail account. It's not synchronized back the other way. So it looks like it's a one-way synchronization. Uh, I can do a note on my on my iPad, which is for my Gmail account. It'll synchronize up to my Gmail account, but I can't do it the other way. I can't do, add a note from directly from Gmail and send it back to the iPad. It won't work that way. Uh, unlike iCloud, which is working two ways. From the iPad to iCloud, from iCloud back to the iPad. So, I mean, that's the way you know, you, that I'll probably use. Um, the accounts button will switch between all the different accounts and, and all notes and I mean that's really all there is to it.